Stop me if you heard this before. Dense fog advisories around. <laughs> we'll show that to you coming up in just a second. Okay, the numbers are in for February. Fourth warmest that we've ever had in the Tampa area. As far as rainfall goes, you know, we had less than a half an inch. The 11th driest. Okay, so whatever, not, not a big deal. <laughs> we have three spots already reporting zero visibility. Lakeland, Bartow, and Brooksville. Half mile in Brandon, three quarters of a mile in Wesley Chapel. This fog will just get thicker as the morning moves along. Sun comes up and then the sun will do its job. By around 10 o'clock or so, you'll notice big, big improvements as we get back into some sunshine. So today is really no different than it was yesterday. So it's about the temperature forecast, which is cooler this morning. You're going to need those light jackets, even though we got all that fog out there. 57 in Wachula, 59 in the frostproof area, 62 in Brooksville. Not bad, but once the fog lifts out, you know these numbers are going to go right back up again into the 80s. In terms of humidity, I know we've got a front which is going to try to squeeze through, but it's not going to bring any dry air to Tampa. Citrus County, Hernando County, maybe. You guys might feel a little bit of that drier air, but nobody else is. This front, which looked very promising just a few days ago, really doesn't now in terms of drying it out or stuff like that. Raleigh, wow, look at the rain. Raleigh to Richmond. West Virginia, oh, the mountains, this is all rain, folks. Back to Arkansas, Shreveport, Eastern Texas. You can see where the front is just kind of lining up. Unfortunately, today, we got more severe weather, and this one's going to be a big round of severe weather from Memphis to Dallas, I mean, right over the Arklatex, where they're likely to get some tornadic thunderstorms later today and tonight. See it as it develops much later today and tonight. For us, it's just fog in the morning, then we're going to get the sunshine back to the 80s. Same thing for Friday. Saturday, the front is still to our north. It just doesn't want to squeeze through. But Saturday night going into Sunday, if we're lucky, you get a quick shower, and then maybe... Maybe it dries out a couple, a little bit. Not much, though. It really not. This front is not going to have a huge impact on us. And it's interesting because it is going to have a big impact in Texas and Louisiana and Arkansas. By the time it gets here, not much left. 83, your high seven day. We'll be in the 80s for the next seven days, no doubt. High, lows will be in the upper 60s. It's just a slight little chance of a shower on Saturday and early on Sunday as well.